Hi. Today we're going to be working on this um, PC. We're going to be doing a a value upgrade. Um, everybody will come across the problem where either you buy a new video game uh, or even right now the Flash Player requires a decent machine. Um, this is a Pentium 4 uh, with DDR1 memory, an AGP VGA card and um, now coming to the end of 2012 the hardware just doesn't cut it um, there are levels of upgrades today we're going to be showing you a cheap and easy way to upgrade and get this machine um, to be able to play at least uh, some of the latest games and run the latest software without any problems uh, Windows 7 Okay, so um, you have a memory, you have your memory here, you have your motherboard, you have a CPU, you have your graphics card. Okay, the hard drive here is a SATA drive, uh, so we'll be leaving that in. And the DVD RWs or IDE, use these thick cables, we'll be installing a one DVD RW combo with SATA because the new motherboards um, don't even have IDE connectors anymore everything's with SATA, SATA 3 and SATA 2 so let's have a look at what we're gonna put in here today okay so uh, we're gonna be putting in this motherboard okay this is a socket 1155 um, it uh, it's compatible with all the latest processes all your i7s all your i5s i3s uh, we have two DDR3 uh, memory slots, your RAM slots, uh, your PCI Express, and uh, this P one PCI, and we also have SATA 3 and SATA 2. Okay, so this about 60 euros, okay, more than capable. Okay, um, okay, this is Kingston 1600, okay, this is uh, 2 gig and 2 gig, so altogether we'll be using 4 gigs. So that's a good uh, upgrade from the 512 DDR1 that we had on the Pentium 4 board. Okay. And our CPU. This is a G860. Okay, it performs just under the benchmark of an i3, but it's about half the price. So this processor is good value for money. Okay, it will run uh, all the basic games quite well, and um, all your up-to-date software with, without any problems. Okay, so uh, value for money, you won't go wrong with this processor. And like I said, um, if you would like to upgrade later on to let's say an i5 and i7, all you got to do is just change uh, the CPU and. Uh, you can make a, you can make it, you can upgrade again the later stage. Okay. Okay, so um, we've installed the motherboard and the RAM and the DVJ card. We've replaced the power supply, the DVD or W. Um, we're just installing the Windows 7. Everything's gone together very well. And um, for about 180 euros, we've been able to do this um, upgrade, which is a significant upgrade from a Pentium 4 with DDR1. And um, like I said, this PC from now on will, will be able to play all the, the new, the basic games and um, as well as uh, you shouldn't have any problems as far as uh, Windows 7, Windows 8 and um, any new, any new up-to-date software that you, run or, that you want to run okay so instead of buying a new PC sometimes uh, an upgrade a full upgrade like this is worth it Okay, so remember, there's always a fix. Thanks for watching.